What is the International Pronounce Day? We all know what a pronoun is. In case you don't, a pronoun is a substitution for a name but it is a gender based word. For example, Hitler was a dreaded Nazi of his time who was instrumental in getting millions of Jews killed. When he was about to be caught, he consumed poison and died. He is one of the vilest individuals the human civilization has dealt with. He and his are pronouns here. As you can see, we don't need to use a name all the time. If we hadn't used pronouns in the above example, the whole thing would have gone something like this. Hitler was a dreaded Nazi of Hitler's time who was instrumental in getting millions of Jews killed. When Hitler was about to be caught, Hitler consumed poison and died. Hitler was one of the vilest individuals the human civilization has dealt with. As you can see, continuously repeating someone's name makes the sentence quite cumbersome and this is the reason why pronouns were invented in grammar. Some pronouns are gender specific and some are not. Here is an example of a non-gender specific pronoun. A group of people was peacefully walking on the pavement holding placards. Suddenly they started running helter skelter. They is a non-gender pronoun. A group of people may consist of men, women and everything in between. Non-gender pronouns are used when you cannot distinguish the conventional gender of the person or the thing or the phenomenon you are talking about. Take for example trees. You don't know the gender of a tree, at least by merely looking at a tree. How do you use the pronoun for a tree? There used to be a massive oak tree at the crossing. It was mercilessly chopped down by the authorities yesterday. It is a non-gender pronoun. In many non-English languages, a tree may be masculine or feminine. Pronouns can be of different categories. Personal pronouns I, we, you, he, she, it, they. Demonstrative pronouns this, these, that, those. Relative pronouns who, which, that, as. Indefinite pronouns each, all, everyone, either, one, both, any, such, somebody. Interrogative pronouns who, which, what. Reflexive pronouns myself, herself, himself, themselves, itself. Possessive pronouns mine, yours, ours, hers, his, theirs. Objective pronouns me, you, as, him, her, it, them. In fact, the list goes on and on. So what is the International Pronouns Day? No, it is not a day to celebrate the pronouns existing in all the languages, especially English. The International Pronouns Day is celebrated to raise awareness about people who cannot or do not want to confine themselves to conventionally used pronouns. People may have intersecting or fluid gender identities. A person who is a male may not identify himself as a male but a female or neither a male nor a female. What type of pronoun does such a person use? A person who is a female may not identify herself as a female but a male or neither a female nor a male. For such people, it is offending to be addressed as a he or a she when they don't feel like he or she. The contentious pronouns are mainly third person personal pronouns that specifically identify the gender of a person. What do people with fluid gender identities prefer instead of conventional pronouns? This information is abundantly available on the internet. Here are a few examples. He is sitting here doing nothing can be written as Z is sitting here doing nothing. I must confess that right now I don't have much information about gender neutral pronouns but lots of information can be found on the internet. Do the image search instead of the normal search. Well, whether you identify with a single gender, multiple genders or no gender at all, it always pays to know contemporary pronouns.